guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we're going to go through the Turtles of Grayskull Krang, the alien brain of a Megator android. So it's one of the special releases, so single releases that is, on the card art forum. It's pretty big on the back, to be fair, this time. So he's got... Uh, there outside the Snake Mountain and it's got Wrath there fighting him at the bottom so he's a mix between the Megator it's got a little write up here on the bottom um, it's a mad science experiment gone wrong Krang crosses over dimensions and discovers the strongest power of the universe the power of Grayskull now with a stranger faster megato android body krang will stop nothing until the power is his and then it's got the two little cross cells going on in the back there so let's crack this guy open have a little closer look so this guy is absolutely massive i believe i think they've used one of the wwe figures to actually get him at this height I mean his boots and his uh, gloves and ha well gloves are they on his hands and the gauntlets I don't know if the camera picks it up as good but they are proper like the more of a pink really vibrant stand out especially against the Megator green there that big brass chains brace that he's got on his chest armor is really cool as well at all like one flat piece all the articulation is what we've seen before with the origin so you've got the head rotate bobble up and down 360 on the arm you've got the elbow joint you've got the wrist pivot and twist as well twist at the waist legs will splay out back and forth bend at the knee twist at the uh, boot cuff and the little feet is on a little bobble and twist as well. So this guy comes with a lot of accessories. You've got the the chest, the you have got the waist divider, I suppose it is. It's got a little cage on the front of it because you've got a little tiny crang here as well. So I'll just pop that out, slide, crank in, and then his little tentacles, there's two little, two little holes in the cage where they can peep out. So obviously with all these figures it's all modular, so the head pops off, the arm, the hands, the waist and also at the boot cuff as well and all of these little accessories as well as little outfit is all separate but if we just pop crank in pop his torso back on I mean, now look at the height of him. He is proper huge. Even down to the little tuft on the top of his head there. So he comes with this massive, like, mace on the end of a chain. And it's got the little noblin so you can take one of his hands off and plop that in there. As I've just took his hand off to show you, the actual gauntlets are removable as well. Now his little axe has also got a little like little noblet on. So you could take this hand off if you wanted. And then you could have him there with his little ball and chain on his axe. So like I say, there's two little hands or two massive hands will pop off. 
but they have got gripper hands on as well so I'm going to put these back on and see how he just holds them regular without having to take these off so there he is with his hands back on I mean you can pop the weapons just straight into his hands well definitely the axe the actual ball and chain was a little bit of a fiddle but I can get one link in between his thumb and finger but if I just bring Raph back in there just to show the comparison I mean he's even smaller than shoulder height compared to Krang now especially with that waist little torso added in there and again if I just bring him in to just check the detail that you've got with the head sculpt working your way down to the chest armour piece you've got the little crang going on in there as well and then his little little cod piece <laughs> but let's just pop crang back out his little cage so he's got like a little connection where it slides in on there but here he is little smirking face little fangs going on but just yeah slide him in I'll just clip that over the front for now in fact now I'm gonna feed them back through again because it will annoy me otherwise so there he is, my little review of Krang. Let me know your thoughts. Drop those comments in the box. What do you think of this line? I didn't think I'd go this deep into it. But I think I'm pretty much up to date with them all. I've got another couple of reviews coming. I've still got a review, Skeletor, Man at Arms. I've recently just got Old and Moss Man as well. And then I've got the other releases set to come out on pre-order like Hordak, Leatherhead, April, them type of ones. So they are on the way as well. But yeah, let me know your comments, let me know your thoughts. While you're there, do the usual, the like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one, and I will see you on the next. Take care.